Okay, you're here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. And today our guest is a 1961 Galaxy Sunliner convertible. Fantastic car and a great color combination too. Black, red, black, and uh, red, white interior. White convertible top, brand new and snow white. You can see it in the uh, still photos that Rich has. What's really neat is this particular car under the hood has a 390 four barrel, not a two barrel engine, but a four barrel 390 hypo engine in it. Prismatic transmission. Everything underneath this hood has been readdressed. It, it has uh, everything new in the engine from the oil pan to the air cleaner. Motor's been completely apart. You can see it's a total rebuild. New water pump, new power brake booster, new master cylinder, new brake lines. It does have power steering, new battery, new starter solenoid, all new hoses. It does retain its uh, original uh, uh, heater system in it too. High capacity radiator in this particular car. The um, core support in the front is just totally undisrupted. This car has never been in any trouble. Uh, the inner fender panel is the same way. There's no dents or anything in them that you can see that the car's been in any kind of uh, accidents through the years. Everything appears to be original as it was in 1961. Great engine compartment, nice high horse motor. These, I believe, made right around 300 horsepower with the four barrel on them. And in that day and time, that was considerable horsepower for any car out on the road. But this one is a four barrel 390 and a great bodied car. Okay, here we are. We're going to go around our 61. Galaxy Convertible. We've been doing um, a video presentations for about six months now and it really seems like people are really, really very receptive to them. We try to pick out every little defect that there is, no matter how minuscule, we try to show you that yes, there is something there so that when you buy the car and you receive the car, you're not, oh, I didn't know there was a ding here. Or, oh, I don't know there was a mark there. We try to show everything that we can. Sometimes you can't see it in the video, sometimes you can. Uh, so whenever we do a car, and it's not to say that I don't miss something here or there, I try my very best to show you every defect in this car, this one or any other one that we have here at Hangsters. Some of them I can walk around and I don't have anything to say because there's just nothing there. Others have little tiny imperfections here or there. We don't sell anything that's, that's messed up to the point that it's, it's not visibly attractive. You know, so you're not going to get something that's wavy or the paint's crappy on or, or there's something really, really amiss to the car. We don't do that. We're not going to sell you something like that here. So we'll go around this car and I'll try to pick out every defect that there is to show you. Okay, starting on the front end of our 61 Sunliner. Black car and the paint is absolutely beautiful on this car. I do not see any marks or imperfections in this hood at all. The alignment is absolutely stunning. It's an uh, eighth of an inch gap the whole way around. Clean up to the uh, uh, cowl area across the front. Uh, the Ford lettering is nice, no uh, pitting or anything in it. A little misalignment on the front piece of anodized aluminum trim here, which we will address. In other words, we got this car and you're seeing it in the rough with us after washing it. A lot of the things that I show you, the imperfections that we do pick up, like this, it doesn't line up. We'll address that problem. This car won't be like that when someone buys it. It'll be done. The anodization on the grill is absolutely beautiful. There's no marks or stone bangs or anything on it. It's just absolutely as nice as you could possibly get. Chrome on the bumper, as it was when it was new. Parking lights, nice clear, crystal clear lenses on them. Uh, across the front end of this car, it's just a very, very nice car. The plastic isn't cracked up or broken on our uh, fender markers on the top. The gold anodization that was on the, uh, the little balls on the uh, ends here has kind of gone away through the years, but the balls are still fine. Uh, they're um, uh, more of a chrome now than they are gold the way they were from the factory. Um, the anodized uh, moldings, basils around your uh, dual headlights in the front. Uh, there's a mark here. Somebody got too close to the garage pulling out and it looks like they took the, ba uh, the basil off and um, tapped it back out again. But there is a mark there, just so you know that there is a mark there. And again, there's a misalignment, as you can see, which we have to address on this front 
um, hood uh, trim. Sun liner designation on the front fender. Paint on the fender is absolutely beautiful. Bumper fitment's very, very good. Very good. They started getting a little better in the 60s than they were in the, uh, in the 50s with these cars. All right, we'll go down the side of this car, see what we can find. This car sports a uh, very nice set of chrome reverse style wheels with a center cap. Uh, really, really a nice looking wheel that was probably correct for that early 60s era. Probably the wheel to have in the early 60s, whether it was on you know, a, a Ford, Chevy, or a Plymouth. It wouldn't matter. Chrome reverse wheels were the thing back then. Front fender. Paint, absolutely gorgeous. The uh, towel area to the hood, very, very nice. Correct arms and blades for this car. It does have a tinted front windshield. The uh, trim around the windshield itself, very nice. No dings, no marks, nothing in it, no, nothing whatsoever. Correct mirror for 1961 Ford Galaxy. Pretty fancy mirror in that day. Molding on the side lines up very well. Fender to door, excellent. Paint on the door is beautiful. I love the way they did these uh, uh, thin moldings and continued them on to make a door handle out of them. Really a nice setup. Trim on the side of the door, no dents, no marks in it. Door to the rocker panel as nice as can be. Jeez, man, I'm gonna be here a while. This car's about 50 feet long, I think. Door to the rear quarter panel, absolutely as nice as you could ever hope to have one. The uh, wipes, whiskers, fuzzies, really nice front and rear window, very nice. They're, they're in excellent condition. The chrome on the, uh, this is chrome, this is stainless. Um, the chrome on the uh, handle itself, the door opener, is uh, very, very nice. No pits, no marks or anything on it. Chrome on top of the fender. We have to do this in two parts. We have to do it in geographic regions on this car. Uh, so long. Absolutely beautiful paint. Down the uh, quarter panels on driver's side. Really nice. Very nice. Fender skirts on this car. I don't know if they were a uh, they were factory option. You could get them dealer installed. They never came with the car, but you could get them as a dealer installed option. And they were again in the early 60s late 50s, they were the thing to have, is fender skirts. Wide whites also, which is uh, the, the wheel and tire combination to have back in that era also. Trim, uh, no marks at all. I haven't found any dings or marks whatsoever in this trim yet. Again, the uh, paint on this quarter panel. Looking down the side of this car, it's just absolutely as straight as you could ever, ever hope to find a side of a car. Especially when you're looking at I don't know, about 150 feet of car down the side here. It's just as straight and nice as could possibly be. There's no, no waves or no defects or no deviations whatsoever. Just if you ran a laser down the side of it, it would, it would, it would be just that straight. The anodized aluminum uh, shields behind the uh, rear wheel. Very, very, very nice. A little tiny ding here from don't know what, maybe a stone hit from another car or something. And one here, the same thing. Something, it's a little bit sharp, so something did strike it, like a, a stone from another car flying out of a wheel or something through the ears. Trim on top, not a single mark, not a deviation, really nice. Side of this car is as straight as you could possibly, possibly find one. Very nice car so far. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, across the back end of our uh, Galaxy Sunliner. You can see the rear deck, which is about the size of a Toyota. Uh, the fitment is absolutely beautiful though. Uh, about an eighth inch gap the whole way around it. The paint is just stunning on this car. There are no deviations, no dents, no imperfections in, the, uh, in this black finish at all. The car is just absolutely stunning finish wise. Galaxy in the back. Anodized panel on the back. Usually the, the black is missing on half of these things. This one isn't. Wow. That fits absolutely perfect. Your gas filler door fits absolutely perfect. Anodized aluminum is as fresh and clean as can be. The same thing about the tail lights. 
taillights themselves are crystal clear, uh, no milkiness whatsoever, uh, no issues or problems on the uh, uh, aluminum trim around them either. They've been replaced through the years and they're just as fresh and new as could be. Filler panel is very, very nice, nice fitment with it. Um, dual exhaust, of course, exiting right the, at the uh, edge of the bumper. And the chrome on the back bumper mimics the front bumper. It's just as straight and nice as could possibly be hoped for. A little more of a gap on this side than that side. We're going to have to tweak that bumper just a little tiny bit, maybe about three-eighths of an inch pulling in on this side. But laterally, it's, it's okay. It's just depth-wise. It, uh, it needs to go in more on the uh, passenger side. Other than that, the back end of this car is absolutely stunning. Okay, down the passenger side of our Sunliner. Uh, again, we'll start with this uh, trim on top. A little tiny bit of a nick there. You can hardly see it, but there is a little nick there. A couple little tiny pecks right there. Other than that, the underside is very nice. Again, we're talking about a 1961 car here, you know. How many years ago is this now? Same thing with the um, anodized aluminum uh, behind the uh, rear wheel. Really, really nice condition. Uh, there's no marks on this piece of trim at all. Again, the paint, I just, I can't find any marks at all in the paint. No deviations, no uh, imperfections whatsoever. Somebody really knew what they were doing when they painted this puppy. It's really, really a nice paint job on this car. Side molding, I don't see anything at all on that. This trim going up the side. Absolutely nothing. Fender skirts. Guys love these fender skirts. Um, door needs tightened just a little bit. You can see it's loose. We have to tighten that door, but the fitment you'll see is just as gorgeous as could be once we set that uh, door stop. Fuzzies on this side the same way. Wipes, I guess, is the correct terminology for that. Door handle chrome, a little bit of patina on this one. The other one was uh, pretty clear. This one has a little tiny bit. You've got to look at it in the right light to see it, but it's there. Paint on the door, absolutely gorgeous. Again, I haven't found a dent or a ding in this car. A little bit in the trim pieces, the software, but absolutely nothing in the car. Uh, antenna correct for the year. Trim around the front window, this side the same as the other, absolutely no issues. Again, you can see the hood just fits as nice as you ever wanted to. Chrome on the front fender, the same way. The paint on this car is just stunning, it's absolutely stunning. Sun liner. Ah, back to the front nose of this again. Uh, same as the other side, somebody got a little close pulling in and out of the garage. Has a little very very small and minuscule ding on the side of this uh, headlight uh, uh, basil. Other than that, well, those rear wheels really set this car off. Those chrome reverse wheels with the uh, uh, center caps on them to cover the lug nuts are absolutely fantastic looking wheel for this car. Fantastic interior, which we'll see here in a minute anyway. Richard and I will do a, uh, an interior uh, shoot on this car. The um, 61 Sunliner was a really, really iconic car in its day. One of the prettiest convertibles, even up till today, one of the prettiest convertibles ever produced. If you look at the lines on this car, the subtle fins that were not as big and drastic as the Cadillacs had on them, the car just had a lot of class, a lot of charisma. And you had a 390 four-barrel V8 with 300 horsepower, pulling a lot less weight around than a lot of other cars in that era. You got a big X frame under this thing, which you'll see on our undercarriage uh, video. And um, the, the fit and finish of the car is just as nice as you will ever find one, interior-wise and exterior-wise. The few little defects that we pointed out, which half of them we can address with no problem at all. A couple little dings in the top of the uh, trim molding, you really have to look to see. Uh, they're there, you know, and we want to show you everything that we possibly can about a vehicle so that when you receive it, there's no surprises. We want to show you the way the vehicle is, and uh, that's what we try to do here at Hangsters and give you nothing but the finest quality vehicles available for the money.
Okay, we're in our 1961 Ford Galaxy Sunliner convertible. You can only imagine how much somebody enjoyed this car back in the early 60s. I can only imagine how much fun they had in this vehicle. It had to be an absolute blast to own this car in 1961 and cruise the streets with it and just have an absolute fantastic time with the top down in the evening. You still do that today, though. Steering wheel. It, it's just the way it was when it was new. Obviously, it had to be repainted. There's no way it could have retained this type of finish from 1961 till today. Horn ring, absolutely perfect. Uh, no pits in it, no marks in the chrome, just absolutely beautiful. Um, door handles, door window cranks, just the chrome on them is just as nice as it is everywhere else in this car. Absolutely beautiful. Does retain its original heater and controls. Speedometer cluster, just as clean and clear as it was in 1961. Doesn't have a padded dash. Um, it has this, the uh, old metal dash that uh, if you're ever in an accident, it gives you a nice positive stop. So um, it does have a metal dash in it. Uh, all the knobs are nice and clean and, and just the way they were in 1961. They're not cracked or, or distorted in any way. The original radio, absolute original radio, push button, AM radio. Rear view mirror, clear as can be. Sun visor's really, really nice condition. This one has a little tiny bit of a few, some cracking on the very end over there, but that's, that's pretty much it. Carpeting is nice and fresh, uh, nice clean looking. Um, Sunliner mats in it. The interior's been redone to as new condition uh, for the 61 car, as are the door panels. Everything in this interior is as it was in 1961 when it left the factory. Absolutely gorgeous car. There's really minimal wear on the gas pedal and brake pedal. This car shouldn't have very many miles on it in actual miles. It, it doesn't appear like it uh, had a whole lot of use from the kick panels to the gas pedal to the uh, brake pedal to just the appointments of the uh, dashboard and everything. It's just a nice car. Everything is clean as could be in the car. Runs exemplary. This is a car that someone can enjoy and have an absolute, absolute lot of fun with, just like someone did in 1961 when they bought it new. And it's available here at Hangsters for you. Hi, you're in Daytona Beach at Hangsters. We're underneath a 1961 Galaxy Sunliner. Absolutely fantastic vehicle. We're going to try to hurry this up for you because it's going to start to rain any minute and we have the top down. We'll stay dry. The car may not, though. So we got to get this done as fast as we can here. So I'll try to go everything and expedite the whole thing. New shocks on the front. You can see the engine is a complete engine out rebuild from the oil pan to the air cleaner. Everything is new in this motor. Everything's been addressed. Tranny cooling lines are the original ones, uh, still intact and still fine, no problems. No leaks on the engine, no leaks on the bell housing, no leaks on the uh, cruise-o-matic transmission to, to this vehicle. New tie rod ends, new ball joints on the A-arms. Power steering on this particular vehicle. Someone has recently changed oil and the fuel filter on this vehicle also. Drum brakes in the front, pretty heavy duty drum system on this vehicle. The car is very, very nice underneath and all original. It's not something that's been, uh, you know, had floor pans put on it or had any uh, uh, issues with the frame. Uh, no dents, no marks on the frame that I can see. The frame on this vehicle is a uh, full box frame. It's a full box frame instead of a C-channel. And Ford went to every length to go ahead and increase the structural rigidity of this. If you can see, Rich is taking a picture now of the X bracing that goes from front to back on this vehicle uh, with a nice big fat center section uh, to it to give it a lot of rigidity. Also, even over and above that, if you notice, most frames are stitch welded. In other words, they'll weld a little bit and then they let it go. Weld a little bit more, let it go. This vehicle has an entire, entire perimeter is welded, the entire length of this vehicle. So, just gives you an idea how Ford addressed the structural uh, points of a convertible back in the early 60s yet. This thing is as strong as could possibly be. There's no way that you'd have any torsional twist or stress on this vehicle, no matter how you did it. Even if you backed up 
and uh, uh, put one rear tire up on a, uh, a mound or something and, and try to twist the car. This thing would not twist. No leaks in the rear of the transmission. Parking brake still functional, fully functional. Floor pans undisrupted. I don't see any dents or marks or anything in the original floor pans in this vehicle. Uh, we're about halfway through it, not quite because this thing's about 100 feet long, but um, <clears throat> I don't see any marks <clears throat> whatsoever on any of the floor pans on this vehicle so far. Also, the exhaust system you can see is the same as it was when it was new. It appears to be about an inch and three quarter, maybe two inch pipes, dual exhaust off the cast iron manifolds heading toward the back. The rear mufflers, uh, entire rear end of this car is uh, muffler. So um, we'll continue on. Body mounts uh, fresh the same way as the uh, rest of everything on this vehicle. Let's go to the other half, see what we can find. Okay, second half of our uh, Sunliner underneath. Same thing, stitch weld, no way. Full weld, the entire length of this frame, even up over the uh, uh, rear differential, it's, it's welded in its entirety. Cross section in the back, which you'll see in a minute, which will photograph. Um, <clears throat> box beam tying the two box frame sections together. Really, really strong setup on this car. Jack points right here for uh, the jack, um, the lift of the vehicle instead of putting it on the frame. 9 inch Ford rear end, heavy duty rear end, the same rear end that they used in the 427R cars. This was a forerunner for it. New universal joints in the drive shaft. Uh, shocks in the back are relatively fat, fresh. Uh, rear drum brakes to match the uh, drums in the front. Original brake lines on this vehicle, original fuel lines on this vehicle, and they don't need to be replaced. Springs have a nice arch to them yet. Two brand new mufflers in the back of this vehicle. The pipes are all nice and solid and you have two brand new oval Ford mufflers in the back, the way they came from the factory. There are two dents, it looks like somebody got mad under the car and gave one punch here and one punch there in the front portion of the uh, gas tank. Certainly nothing that uh, affects the uh, operation of the gas tank itself. Um, no rust whatsoever on it. Uh, the floor pan's in the back. The trunk pan is absolutely undisrupted. Same thing with the pans over top the uh, uh, rear uh, differential. The structural beam going across the two is still just as nice and you can see the welding is nice and clean and clear on it. The drop downs in the quarters are original and they are absolutely flawless. They're absolutely perfect. This car is as nice underneath. I haven't found one single thing other than the two punch marks in the front part of the uh, gas tank itself, which is the original tank. Other than that, there's not even a mark on the frame anywhere. This thing is original and new underneath, and it's here at Hangster for you.